everybody, this is Crystal. This is my daughter, Evelyn. Evelyn Rose, we call her Rose. Or are, we tw are we twins? Oh yeah, she's just like her mama, aren't we? So today, what we're gonna do is, Evelyn is four, if anybody wants to know. So today, what we're gonna do is, we have a box from Lion, it's, um, I bought it. Um, it's, it's for the Hat Not Hate campaign. It's like a loom. I'll just open it up and show you. Now, I bought mine from Amazon because they were out at lionbrand.com. But they, when I went to it, they had a link that said you could purchase it on Amazon. So I went there and bought it. And it's supposed to be, I've never loomed in it before, but it's supposed to be for kids too. So me and Rose are going to give it a try, aren't we, Rose? Oh, yeah. So this is what it is. Hat Not Hate Quick Loom Kit. Every hat makes a difference. I love that. One size fits most quick knit loom. Makes two hats, one to wear and one to give. Everything is needed and included. Ages seven to 97. Well, she's four and she's gonna, we're gonna do it. It says creativity for kids. And there's, the Hat Not Hate crew on the back. That's Shira, the Lion Brands ambassador. She started Hat Not Hate. Here's a crew. People wearing all the hats. Kids. That's nice. So Hat Not Hate, if you're not familiar with, I've mentioned it many times on my channel. It's an anti-bullying campaign where you stand in blue hats and they, because uh, blue is the color for uh, anti-bullying. And they distributed them they distribute them to schools. Um, this is, um, and since COVID was happening, they could not distribute this year. So they carried their goal of 100,000 hats over till 2021. So we're gonna keep, uh, keep on making hats. I sent in 30 myself, and now I'm just gonna keep crocheting until the deadline next year, which will probably be sometime in August. I'll have to look it up. But anyways, they made these new kits. Now this was $24.95 or something, $25 for this kit. And it is, a, it is a reusable loom. You think you can do it at Rose? Huh? Oh, you got more faith in yourself than that. I know you can do it. You know why? Because your mama's smart baby girl. Mm, don't cut me. You think mama would cut you? You know why wouldn't. She's got a Kool-Aid stain on her mouth in case you guys haven't noticed. Okay, let's see what's in this kit. Let's see, we got the show them, Rose. Wait a minute, it's tangled up here. Ball yarn. It looks like it's a bulky yarn, five weight. Oh, four balls of yarn, like that, blue yarn, and a loom kit. I hope there's instructions, because I don't know how to loom. There is. Let's see, it comes with this is cool, isn't it, Rose? So, uh, hat not hate. I'll have to see what that all that's for. It comes with a sticker. You want a sticker? Oh, yeah. Oh, and it comes with these nice um, hat not hate leather um, tags that you can snap onto your hat once you're done. Those leather ones are really nice. It comes with two of those. Let's do it here. Let me I'm stick put this on my hand. Where you want to stick it? On my hand. On your hand? Yeah. On my hat. Oh, up here? On my hat. On your new hat? Oh. Or your hat you're getting ready to make? Okay. We got these tags to put on them. You want to put this on instead? I'm going to put both of them Okay. Why don't we stick this over here then? Let's see how it says to do it. So this is a pom-pom maker if you decide to make a pom-pom. And then it comes with a needle threader, a plastic needle, and a knitting hook. I don't know how to use any of this stuff. Do you, Rose? Well, I guess we can find out. Enough yarn to make two hats. Mama? What? You have to put this inside here when you go make your hat. Inside it's, that loom? Uh-huh. I think. I think so, too. Let's you check it out. You have to, like, this, do this. You think that's what you have to do? Yeah. yeah. Show them what you have to do. This is what Rose says you have to do. I think you could be right. <laughs> you could be right. You could be right. Okay. 
let's see we got the instructions knit your hats okay let's start so we'll start with one ball of yarn like it says huh here i'll let you start i'll let you do i'll let you do it okay we'll just make one on camera or no just start it and show and talk about it and then we'll finish them up later so look it says that there's this little thing here on the end can you read it look it says to wrap your yarn around that anchor peg so you have a tail so let's do that i'll wrap it a couple times for you so it don't come loose and now what you do is are you ready i'm going to show you oh it came loose well dang i'm no good at it maybe i'll tie it in a knot you think <laughs> maybe a knot would work better so it doesn't come on loose okay now now let's see I'm going to start it and then I'll show you how to finish it. I guess you take it and you, you guys probably know how to loom, run it and then wrap it once. Wait. How do you make the pom poms? Um, you go through, wrap it around and then you go to the next one. And wrap it around. That's it. Look, I have a rose. You want to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wrap it around like that, and I'll try it. And then we got to keep pushing them down. I think that's what that hook is for. Now go, hold on to it. Go around the next one. And wrap it around like that. Push it down. Good job. Now go around the next one. Wrap it around. Push it down. Good job. Get some more yarn there we go good job baby now go around the next one wrap it around here hold, I'll hold your hand follow my hand okay wrap it around back around the peg push it down all right go to the next one this one's not down okay you got it down okay mm -hmm. okay follow my hand you ready wrap it around push it down there you go. Now, can you go to the next one and do it? You can use both hands if you need to. Ooh, you're going, you're doing it. You're going one-handed. Look how easy this is. It says seven to, the age of seven to what, 97? I think, I think much younger children can do it. Look at Rose. Whipping up the loom hat. Who would have thought? Well, I knew you could do it, but. I wasn't sure I could do it. I never loomed it before. I don't even know if this is correct, truthfully. I think it is. Good job, baby girl. I'm proud of you. I knew you could do it. You know you could do anything, right? Right? Let's put the this one first. Yeah, next one. Anything you want, baby girl. There you go. Push it down. I'm so proud of you. Look at you doing this all by yourself. You know what's next after this loom? We crochet. I think it's time you learn with your Kool-Aid stain mouth and all. You're doing an excellent job, Rose. You're so smart. You want to use both hands? She's just doing it one-handed. You want to try to use two? You can use two. I only have to show you once, don't I? And you got the rest of it down. Okay, go ahead. This one. All right, we're going to continue around until we make it back around to the beginning. We made it back to the beginning. And now once you get back to the beginning, it says that you have to do go around again. And then once we go around, we do something with this hook. So, want to start over, go around again. So we're going to do the same thing. Start with this peg right here. Go around it like that, remember? And push it up. Push it down. And then after we get back around again. Look. Oh. It says, it says, it, it says up. Oh, it's, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Okay, well, push it up then. All right, and then okay. we go around it and at the top, I guess, this time. You want to do it? I 
accident. They untied. That's all right. It's harder to go around the top, isn't it? If anybody is a loom knitter, don't laugh at us. It's our first time, isn't it, Rose? Say, we're new. We're new. We don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. All right, we're going to continue going around again one more time. Okay, we've done it twice now. Oh my gosh, Evelyn says she knows what to do next. So, what do you say we do? Pull, you use that hook? Mm -hmm. I never loomed in it before. This is, seems easy, but. Okay, so wait a minute. Let's read what it says to do. Um, wrap the entire loom again, and you should have two loops on each peg. So we now have two loops on each peg. And then wrap your working yarn around the anchor peg. So we wrap it around this peg so it doesn't get loose. This one on the outside that we tied a knot to. I think that peg should have been a little bit bigger for this thick yarn, but we'll make do with it, won't we? Okay. Now it says to do what with that hook? Um, it says... Starting with the last wrapped peg, so that would be this one. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Maybe I did it wrong. It's possible that we could have done this all wrong, Rose. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, you stick the hook up and you lift the bottom hook over the like, top. Like so you take this and you lift it over the top. The hook, can you do it? Mm -hmm. Oh, we did it too tight. There we go, we did it. And then I think you pull them down and you do it to the next one. Now go to the next one. Yeah, it says do that. Do that all the way around? Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is showing us she's taking that bottom loop with the hook and she's pulling it up over the top and back behind the peg. You want me to help you? It's kind of, I think I wrapped that. We did the first one too tight. Here, go ahead and hang on to it with me so you know how to do it. Ready? Pull it over tight. Oh, I got some yarn from the other one. I think that I did it too tight to begin with. This is all my fault, Rose. Mm -hmm. We have to mess that. We have to start over. No. Sometimes in crochet, and we did it. Woo! We have to start things over. Do it again. You want to do this next one? Mm -hmm. I want to do this next okay. one. We might have even started the, we might have even loomed it wrong. I don't know. Keep going. I'll help you pull it. It's a stretch. It's a stretch. Oh. It fell. We can do it though. There we go. And then you pull them down. So we do this all the way around. There we go. And then it's going to start to look like a hat. So we're gonna go ahead and work and do pull this bottom loop up I'm over the do, top. I just you wanna try. do it? Okay. I'm gonna try it again. Come on, be strong, my daughter. I know that you can do it. Come on. Pull it tight. Oh no. Uh, it kind of ripped a little. It's okay. The yarn splits sometimes. Mm -hmm. This yarn isn't really splitty yarn, it's just this hook is. Pull it tight, tight, tight. Strong. All your muscles, all your muscles. Mm. Oh, it's, this is my fault. We wrapped it. I'm like, pull it tight in the beginning. We shouldn't have pulled it that tight. We're going to work around until we get back to the start. All right, so me and Evelyn, we had a minor hiccup and we had to start over, but we got it figured out now. So what she's doing now is pulling the bottom loom over the bottom string over the top into the back of the loom with the hook. It's not so tight anymore, is it? There you go. Good job. Next one over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you knew I didn't. Oh, you got your yarn split. Go through the, make sure you go through the whole piece of the yarn. 
There you go, baby girl. Okay. We had a mess up, but we fixed it. Now we're on track, aren't we? Gonna get this thing. I guess once we finish this, it says that we have completed our cast on of our hat, bloom knitting hat. And then, like I said, I don't know not. I don't even know how to knit. Upper Rose is, Evelyn is doing uh, way better than me. Evelyn has so many nicknames. She knows them all, don't you? Rose, Ever Rose, Ev, Evelyn, Evers, Rosenthal, Rosers, Rosie. She answers to whatever, don't you? Well, that has to do with your name. Look at you whipping this out like there's no, look at her. You know Freddie's song, Love Me Like There's No Tomorrow. You know that one? This is you. Whip this hat up like there's no tomorrow. We love Freddie Mercury. Don't we, Rose? She's concentrating. Ain't no one gonna stop her now. I think that one's, there you go, you got it. Okay, we're back at the beginning. I'll see what it says to do now. Oh, I have to wrap that one. And you have to go around that one. That one came unwrapped. So yeah, do that one. Can you just put a quarter down? Huh? Just gotta put this one down. Yeah, and then pull that one. You know what to do. I don't know, she's better at it than me. You know, you could, if, once you, wait, wait, now we gotta wrap the end, I think. I think once you get this down, you can be making hats for hat and I hate with this loom knit. I got a lot of blue yarn. You wanna do it yourself? You do? You wanna help out with hat and I hate? Mm -hmm. Stay here. Let's see what we have to do next. Okay. Now, it says you've just cast it on your loom. Push your yarn down onto the pegs. So let's go down them. Push them down. I'm pushing this one down. Push. You put you start this way and go that way, and I'll work this way, and then we'll meet in the middle. Like this, grab the peg, see like me? Push down like that. You can do that. Do it with two fingers. Yeah, there you go. I can do these ones. Yeah, you do those and I'll do these over here, and then we'll meet up in the middle together. That's teamwork. That's how you get things done. We work well together, don't we? And when I teach you how to crochet, you can be on Mama's YouTube channel, crochet, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Are you excited to learn how to crochet? Mm -hmm. I know you are. <laughs> okay, we did it. Let's see what we got to do next. Okay, after knitting, wait, continue knitting a wrap around your loom only once this time when you reach the anchor peg you should have two loops on each peg follow the steps above five look at the bottom loop over the top continue the single wrap and hook for each row after knitting a few rounds remove the knot on the anchor when you run out of yarn tie the end all right we're gonna keep going in the same manner and see what our hat turns out like but we gotta wrap one more time and then we'll pull up the pegs okay like this no no no, no. wait a minute we gotta wrap again, like this. Watch. We have to take this and and then do the wrap like we were doing it before. Wait, uh, how did we do that? Like that. Remember? Uh, we're. I'm so confused. Wait. Okay, like this. Look. You watching? Mm -hmm. You want watching? Mm -hmm. Look. You wanna. You wanna be the wrapper? Let's wrap. Yeah, All right, we're gonna continue wrapping and lifting up. She was, I'll do. I'll be the wrapper, and she's gonna be the one that lifts the lifts the yarn over, and then we'll see what our hat looks like. Okay, so me and Evelyn's been working on this thing. Remember, this is our first time loom knitting, and she did really good. We uh, kind of took turns, um, so she's actually way better at loom knitting than me. So. Let's now it says now what you do once you get it like eight and inches or so. 
we have to sew it up with the remaining tail. So why don't we do that, Rose? Want to? Okay. Sew it up. That's how you do it. That's how a pro does it. So it says to take it. Here, look. Scoot up here a little bit. Here, get back. Let me scoot mama's butt over. Okay. <laughs> Is that funny? Okay. You ready? Now we got to sew it up. It says like this to go through each hole and then we take it off the loom and I guess it's a hat I don't know I've never done it but give me okay you want to take it and put it through put it through that one this one through the loop on the this one that one yeah yeah right through there <laughs> here I'll show you take my hand I mean let me hold your hand You know what would work better? Mm -hmm. Maybe if I got one of my metal, push it from the bottom, metal uh, yarn needles instead of this plastic one. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Plastic. Kind of hard to get it through there with plastic, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. So what do you think? You gonna try this hat on? Mm -hmm. Do you think we did a good job? Mm -hmm. Do you have fun with that? Mm -hmm. You think you can make some more hats for Hat Not Hate? That yarn wasn't. Face, you know. The yarn what? Mm -hmm. It was on my face. It said you have to use this. Yeah, you can use that. Oh, I could have used that too. <laughs> okay. So once we get done with this, are we gonna put a pom pom on it? Mm-hmm. How do you make your pom poms? What? How do you even make pom poms? You don't like pom poms? I do like pom poms. Oh. How do you make them though? Yeah, well, she show it shows us how and the instructions. I know how to make them, but. We're going to make them um, with their pom-pom maker that they sent with this kit. So we're going to go ahead and go all the way around this, and then we're going to take it off the loom. Okay, we went through the whole thing. Now it says to take it off the loom. So I guess we just, I don't know how to do that. Pull it off? What do you think? Pull it off. Pull it off? Mm -hmm. Just like pop it off like this? or Don't pop it off. Oh yeah, I'll see they come, it could come right off. But, because since we sewed it, they're going to stay together. And then we'll use that needle and sew it at the top like it shows in the picture. What do you think? You think it's going to work out? Yes. Yes, I think so too. I'll try doing this. Yeah, pull some off with me. See, I'm just taking it and pull it over the hook like that. You do that side, I'll do this side, and then we'll be done really quick. If we work together. Remember, teamwork is always best. I to get things done faster. Do okay, I'll show you. Grab it like this and stretch it out a little bit and pull it right over the top. I'll show them how to do it too. So you can say just grab it, stretch it, and pull it. I can. Yeah. Oh, mommy, do it. All right, you do it. You mean this one? Yep. And it's hard to get it stretched out, ain't it? There you go. Keep going. It is cool to inside. It's easier with the inside. All right, you do that one, and I'll do the one on the hook. There we go. Hey, why are you doing that? Right, wait, wait, wait. Cause that one gets tight. There's two on the hook from where we sewed it. There was one. Now there's two. So you pull the one that I sewed, and I'll pull the one that's on the loop, and now we're working together like we're supposed to be. Let's turn our ring around here. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. You know what? I think you're pretty cool. Do you think you're cool? Let's cut these strings off it. Wait, wait, we got to use that to sew it up the top. Remember, like it shows in the picture? And then we can cut it. Okay, sew it up at the top. Yeah, you can sew it the top up after I get it off the loom. I'm probably not doing this. Like I said, this is just me and Ab's first time, isn't it, Rose? Mm -hmm. We just aren't. Um, loomers, but you're gonna do it again, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. You're so independent. She wanted to do most of it herself. You get that, Look. you know, you get that Look. independent strength from your mama. Look. What? They get food. Yeah, now it says to flip it inside out and oh, wrong way and sew it up with this tail. Um, Where is the tail? Look, uh, it says, I feel like I did something wrong. Let me see this. Oh, well you just pull it together like this. See that? 
and then you can sew the top up. I think I made my hat too small, but I thought I measured correctly. Think it's gonna fit you? Because I like hats. You do like hats. You like, so you're gonna make some more hats like this on the loom? Or are you going to make a pink one? Mm -hmm. You're gonna make some more blue ones for Hat Not Hate? I want to use that pink yarn. Oh, you wanna use pink yarn, huh? Mm -hmm. pink yarn. Well, we'll do that. Because this, this loom is reusable, you can use it for as many times as you want. That's cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Say, so it's cool. It's cool. It's awesome. It's cool. I'll, I'll cut the top. Oh, sorry, here, you can cut this up for me. Carefully. I can. Mm. Good job. Let's flip it inside out. Nice. Nice. It looks like it's kind of short. Maybe I didn't. Now we can put one of these hat and I hate things on it. So, what do you put? Let's hold it up here. I guess you just stick it wherever you, you want, no. and then it, it snaps. Okay. We gotta make sure it's on right here. Go up this way, and then it folds over, and then it snaps. Can you snap it for me? No. There we go. I think that's how that works. Want to try it on? Okay, mm -hmm. take that hat off. Mm. This might be kind of small. I don't know. It fits me. <laughs> well, it's our first try at loom knitting. So I don't think we did too bad. We could put a pom pom on it if you want. I want a pom pom. Let's put a pom pom on it real quick. We're going to turn the camera off and put a pom pom on it. Okay, I always make a fun of my pom pom. No, because my <laughs> you were too because my scissors are kind of dull and it worked that well she wants to put this hat not hate sticker here let's flip it up like that on the front of it there's your hat turn it on are you excited mm -hmm. you excited to make some more mm -hmm. you know what i'm so so mm -hmm. proud of you for sticking to this loom you know when i bought this i knew <laughs> that you you know what next time we'll make it a little bit longer though not bad for our first loom you know um, I'm so proud of you for sticking to it. I knew that you would do it because you're so independent and you're so determined. Can you tell everybody thanks for watching? Thanks for watching. Say, pick up, 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 pick up one of these loom kits at Lion Brand or Amazon. And say, if you have kids, they'll really enjoy them making that, won't they? You enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And say, even if you're an adult, you'll still enjoy it, won't you? Mm -hmm. Mommy enjoyed helping you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Say, and don't forget to check out Lion Brand for uh, so you can learn more about Hat Not Hate, the anti-bullying campaign, or you can look on Hat Not Hate Not or Hat Not Hate dot org for all the information to make blue hats to for send a message against anti-bullying. We don't like bullying, do we? We don't like it when people are mean, do we? We like to be nice to everybody, don't we? Hmm? Are you tired? <laughs> Tell everybody bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.